Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Alamo RM, and I am here today with a vlog about featuring Kitty. Hey, Kitty. Hi, Harley. Um, with a vlog about um some essentials that we are packing to go with us on our trip to the Maldives. If you guys have watched my other video, um, you have kind of like a, a review type of vlog regarding the attire that I'm bringing on vacation. So I'm not going to go into depth about the, excuse me, about the clothing that I'm going to wear, but I will go into depth about some other components of travel. So y'all, I was so hungry. Mmm. Check out my other video. You know I'm a Navy mom now. Almost Navy mom. <clears throat> my girl will be going to the Navy um, in a couple months. So, rough start to accepting it. However, I'm excited for her. Go Navy. Okay, now that my tummy is so happy, we can get started with the vlog. So the first item that is one of our essentials for travel that of course everyone needs is a good piece of luggage. I used to, when I was younger, be obsessed with Louis Vuitton luggage and things of that nature. However, you guys, the older I get and the more how I spend my money, the more important that becomes to me. I stopped doing that. People are so rough with luggage and have no regard and no respect for your items and so I I just don't invest my money on those things anymore don't get me wrong I love a good bag I have my never fool my YSL my um my Louis wallet and you know so a girl loves a good bag honey don't don't get it twisted however I prefer not to carry that type of luggage because I replace luggage at least I don't know, on years where we travel heavy, and the past year we haven't done much travel, of course, because of COVID, but years before, I used to be on a plane every week. And let me tell you, I would replace luggage at least once a year. It, it, they just have no regard, girls. They just throw your crap everywhere. No regard for your luggage, for your things. They toss it around, gets damaged. So no, I do not spend money um, on like Louis Vuitton expensive pieces of luggage, so. This piece, this set my husband actually purchased. Cause y'all know if it was mine, it would have been pink or something super girly. But because we're uh, going over across the world actually, to the other side of the world, and we are trying to conserve the amount of luggage that we're bringing. I'm not doing good at it, you guys. Pray for me, cause I'm not doing good. Like, um, he's like, why are you bringing all these shoes? You're gonna be at the beach. I'm like, just let me, just leave me be, okay? So, this set he purchased it is black it is by uh, Wrangler and what attracted us to this set is that it has a cup holder that also um, so it's a cup holder so, I think my cup might the bottom might be a little bit too big but for the most part, it'll hold it. Looks like it will. Yep, pretty sturdy. And um, not only not only is it a cup holder, but it actually is a charger. So you can plug your phone up and charge. So the only thing <clears throat> that you have to do is you have to purchase a separate battery pack, which we've done. So this is the second piece that um, we are bringing with us. Um, it's a, a Samsung 10,000 fast charge. So it goes into the body of the suitcase and it has an area where you can kind of put it in. And then um, this go plugs into the other side of the suitcase and then plug your phone up and then you receive your charge so rechargeable battery luggage with cup holder and charger 
Um, let's see what else. This came in three pieces. So this is the medium size. We have a bigger one and then the tiny carry-on and all three of them have the capabilities to uh, provide charging. USB, USB-C port and then the uh, regular USB ports. So it plugs into here, like so, like that. And then down here is the holding area for the battery charger itself. and with these velcro straps you can tighten it of your luggage and then let's see if it works guys there it is it's a working the second thing that is kind of an essential for us is our lovely waterproof camera bag you guys know that I am going to be vlogging the entire trip, and so I'm really excited to, um, we love the ocean, you guys. I am obsessed with just being on the beach, in the water, snorkeling. I love all things related to ocean, so we're gonna, we plan on snorkeling and scuba diving, and so we wanna capture it to be able to share with you guys, and we got this really cool waterproof camera bag. Okay, I will put the link in the video for um, the luggage, the camera bag, and a couple other things that I'm gonna be showing you guys, but it has these little finger holes where you can like hold the camera a little bit to be able to navigate it. It also floats, and then you can put the strap around um, your neck to be able to keep the bag with you. So we have this, the camera that we use or that I use sometimes for vlogging. A lot of times I do stuff on my phone because it's just easier for me, but it's Rebel T5. Um, it has the long lens as well as the short lens. I really love this camera. Um, and it is, I don't know, I love it. It's a really good camera. So we plan on utilizing this to get some underwater um, footage and i am just so super excited you guys like i can't wait to bring y'all along with us so that you can um just see what it is what the maldives looks like and just embrace the whole experience that we're gonna um be able to share with you guys okay so something else moving on i purchased because of covid i thought it would be safer to bring our own um snorkeling gear of course with scuba it's a little bit different just because there's tanks and things and so we couldn't purchase our own scuba gear but i thought um, because of where we're staying i'll show you guys um a little video clip should be somewhere over here of um what our place is gonna look like we literally can walk off of the steps of our villa and snorkel so we got our own um, snorkeling gear. This one is really cool because my husband has a GoPro. So it has attachments to um, go on top of your scuba mask and attach your GoPro. So we'll have some a couple different options of being able to capture footage. This, so it is a one-way valve um, on this actual uh, snorkel tube. So water cannot come in and only air can pass in and out. So um, what I liked about it was that it fits your entire face. I hate having that like piece in my mouth and um, I hate breathing through my, my mouth. So it makes it so you're able to breathe through your nose or your mouth, whichever you prefer. And it's one piece on your face instead of a whole, um, like two separate units. So I'm really excited about this. And then again, that you can um, attach this, this thing. My husband has to do it because I don't remember how to do it, but you can attach this thing on top and it has like the screws where you can attach your GoPro and then um, record and film so I'm really excited about that and then the um, the I'll put the link in the uh, 
um, description box also for all of these things, guys. So if you're curious and you're going on vacation to purchase anything that you have access to it. So that's my mask. And I wanted thins that were, um, you know, not like huge and able to be packed in our luggage. So these are my fins. All this stuff again came from Amazon. These are the Snorkel Master brand. Like I said, I liked that it was a shorter fin and I, they fit this. Um, these are size small, so size four to seven. And this piece here comes out. I know I was reading some of the reviews and people were talking about this part and that it provided like it caused the pain, but they didn't realize that this is supposed to, it's supposed to come out when you're wearing them. These are so you can actually hang them. Um, you can hang the fins up and they also kind of help to keep the shape. So they, it comes out and it's a great fit. I also can fit them even with my water shoes. I was going to try to see if I can see my water shoes to show you guys those. Hold on, let's see what our affirmation is. I deserve to be healthy, healthy, happy, and successful. Claim it, yes ma'am. Okay, so let me see if I can find my water shoes, you guys. Here are my water shoes. So, you guys, you know I'm obsessed with pink. These are so cute and they fit so comfortably. They're not like the little cheapy, cheapy ones that you get from, um, you know, like Walmart or whatever. And I'm really excited because, you know, coral can be very sharp. So, um, and because right under our um, villa that we're staying in is you can get out in the water. You can walk in the water because it's low. However, I want to make sure that we protect our feet because there's coral. So I have these and they also fit inside of my water shoes. So I have a little bit extra kind of like if I wanted to wear them with them so that it feels a little bit more comfortable. That's my plan. So those are my water shoes, um, my little scuba gear. Um, has um, his, of course they're not pink. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> um, that's that. The next essential that I'm bringing is my, um, you know, my bag with all of my toiletries. So I got this one actually from, I think I got this from like either Marshalls or Ross. It's by Tahari. I like a lot of Tahari brand things, but it's a really decent brand. It came with three of them, like a small little makeup bag, actually two, a small little makeup bag and this one um, for me to carry some of my bigger things in. As a nurse, I always pack my little call it kind of like an emergency kit or a little like essentials kit which has like first aid stuff in it some benadryl you know some medications um hand sanitizer lysol stuff to spray things down once we get there i actually have to go to target and i'm going to bring you guys along so you can see the things that we purchase for um, like essentials that we grab for vacationing so um yes this cute little bag I just love the print of it, love the color. As y'all can see, like everything in my life is related to pink or like rose gold or something. I can't help myself. My water bottle, like I just can't help myself, you guys. I can't. My phone, like I don't know. I just, I'm obsessed. It's my favorite color, don't judge me. Um, so yes, yeah, so we uh, are gonna make a run to Target and I will kind of share with you guys that trip and how it goes. These are just a couple of essentials that um, that we have to have for our vacay. So we are bringing three pieces of luggage, one that's gonna be checked, two that are gonna be carry-ons. Um, our flight ended up getting changed. We did have a longer 14-hour layover to our flight. Um, so now our layover is a lot shorter. So our plan is to possibly explore once we land in Mali and um, before they fly us to on the you know the more private plane over to um, our particular island within the Maldives. But another thing that I wanted to share with you guys is a couple of things I'm still waiting on. Um, to arrive but a couple other essentials that I have are my luggage tags these are it so yes I love these luggage tags you get both of them you get the marble color one as well as the 
um, like geometric kind of marble-ish one. I thought it was super cute. Since my husband was getting the black luggage, I want the pink luggage tax, okay? It's happening. Get over it. He doesn't care. <laughs> he could care less. He just wasn't gonna drive or um, fly around with no pink luggage that he was pulling. That wasn't gonna happen, but luggage tax, he's not gonna say. So that's my luggage tag. They're super cute. What I liked about them the most was that they have the flap um, to cover the insert because some other ones that I had, the, even with the plastic cover over the little insert that you write your information on, it still got damaged. So I like the fact that those have um, the protective cover. Some other things that I got, you guys, that I'm waiting to come in is this waterproof um phone case that's good for diving as well as here let me pull it up for you guys it's good for diving as well as snorkeling and you can go down as low as 50 feet with it um i wanted to again have some options for things so we have the camera bag but i also love to just like snap quick things with my phone and it's easy to if I'm vlogging and editing videos, to just pull it up on my phone and be able to navigate it. So I wanted to have some options for, um, if you guys can see it, some options for uh, camera, you know, underwater footage. So this phone case I thought was super cute, you guys. It comes with a lanyard. Um, it's not pink, boo, but they only had a couple options like this one in the brown, so I opted for this one. It has lots of protective layering and um, it seemed very durable. It's like ergonomically friendly, like if you're swimming and you are holding and trying to snap, that you actually hit the capture pictures with that shutter button there. So it's a little bit easier to do it while you're swimming. And then it has locks that kind of lock on each side of the, um, of the case you can attach like a stabilizer to it or a um what do you call it a selfie stick so yes i'm really excited about this so this will be here in a couple days i just purchased it yesterday so excited about that and let's see what else am i waiting on i think most of my stuff came in for the most part because we're traveling internationally we have to remember that their um, means of electricity is probably going to be way different than ours and um, the people who are, we are traveling with they're actually so savvy because they travel um, internationally all the time and so um, they actually recommended this to us so because they had gotten to a country one time and did not have um, any converters to be able to make their charge their phones and things like that so they kind of helped us prepare to make sure that we have everything so this power jc um converter comes with our regular plugins here and then four different usb ports on the side for charging it comes with the cable um, where you can um, you know plug it up so that it works it has an on off switch and then it comes with all of like there's so many different ones um, that convert international electricity into um, you know where we can plug we can plug our thing into it and this can go into the wall socket and then we can use it from this angle so based off of what type of system they um, they have it comes with all of these different ones that we can pick to you know see which one works and then be able to charge our items so again an essential something that you might not think about until you have the need to think about it unfortunately and um, we're just grateful that our travel friends were able to, um, you know, introduce this information to us now so that that way we are prepared, um, you know, prepared for what's to come when we leave. So that's that. We have, my husband purchased this um, Venture passport holder let me show that to you here it is it goes around your neck 
and you can you know if you're a guy you can kind of tuck it in into yourself so that way you have all of your items closest that you need closest to you at all times instead of having to instead of having to you know dig for them out of a purse or whatever so this will hold our passports you can put one on one side so like it's two separate po pockets on each zip so like my passport and I hate when passports start looking all rugged and run down so this will help keep them nice and you know crispy girl so this um this side over here is my husband's side. And this one over here is my side. It also will hold all of your like cards and whatever items you, you know, want to bring. So that way, cause I'm trying to minimize. Um, I was trying to decide if I was still gonna bring my Neverfull or not. I don't know if I'm gonna use that as a carry-on or if I'm gonna get like a, some sort of different travel bag. Um, and then it has like in the inside so we always bring a couple of um extra passport photos with us for travel just because um if you find yourself in a country where they say that you need another one they can essentially charge you whatever they want to charge you to be able to um get another passport photo so we bring an extra one of those and it has like a whole bunch of different pockets on the inside and then um yeah it's just like it has this one in front where if you want to put your id in front as you're traveling through the airport um through customs through customs you know it's just easy and effortless so everything's in one place yes so we got these um and let's see what other essentials my AirPods. Girl, I am not traveling nowhere with no wires and cables and things of that nature. So I have a hard protective case on them. One that can also hook onto, you know, my bag or whatever it is that I'm bringing. And that way I can listen to my music or whatever it is that I'm watching um, with you know effortlessly without having wires and cables and things of that nature and then of course with the charging feature i can charge it still on my luggage or you know if, if need be or on the plane um so i'm so super excited to share with y'all this trip because this is like literally my bucket list trip i have dreamt of going to the maldives like for so many years i also was thinking like oh my god what if i don't get a chance to go because they're projecting that they're going to be underwater within x amount of years so yeah you guys i was like oh my god are we really going to be able to do it and we are able to do it so i'm super excited about that i will also be sharing with you guys um some like get ready for vacation prep that I do um, starting um, I'll, I'll put that video together soon so that way you guys can see it just how I prep and pamper myself prior to going on vacation so shared my um, travel must-haves for going to like island type of vacations out of the country and so now let's head to Target okay guys so we are going to target to grab our things that we need our little toiletry essentials and sanitation essentials for travel so that that way we are prepared i have a really busy um few days before we actually go so i'm trying to get this stuff out of the way now because i have clients that i'm kind of pushing in and congesting so i can get you know them all squared away because we will be gone for a bit so i have um some appointments for some pampering things that i'm planning on doing so i am trying my best to kind of get up chip away at whatever needs to be done now um including like my school work trying to i have like some um, papers for my my nurse practitioner program that i have to do because i'm trying to get everything done before i go so that that way the only thing i have to do is sub submit things but i don't have to actually um 
work on them because they're already gonna be completed. So, you know, a girl's gotta be organized and do what you gotta do to keep your ish together. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the box really quick that my um, camera bag came in. So this is it. It is the die cat die cat pack. <laughs> die cap pack I think that's what it's called um so yes this is the one that we ordered from Amazon and it says it's recommended for swimming surfing kayaking snowboarding snorkeling rafting and wakeboarding so wanted to share that with you guys and to Target we go okay guys we made it to Target do you want to grab a basket okay We made it to Target, my favorite store. Anybody else in love with Target? It gives me all the vibes. Sometimes I just like to come in here without a purpose <laughs> and get a coffee from Starbucks or something I drink from Starbucks and shop. And it gives me all the vibes, you guys. Actually, I'm gonna stop at Target. I mean, I'm gonna stop it. Thank you. At Starbucks and get my favorite water. Let me show y'all. If y'all not getting this water, you're missing out. You're totally missing out. Hi. Could I please have a Chernty, um, Trenta, Trenta, Trenta. <laughs> I was like, I said that wrong. That was like Venti and Trenta. Uh, a Trenta um, ice water with all the dried fruits. Do you want anything? No, honey, thank you. And that's it. Thank you. Um, let's see here. I think 
that's everything else I need. Okay guys, who would have known that we could be in the sunscreen section for like 20 minutes? But it's important to make sure that you are getting sunscreen that is a reef safe, you guys. You do not want to contribute to the death of our country or wherever, our world's um, coral reef. So the options that we have are, we decided to go with this. It looks like the higher up the SPF, the more oxy, um, oxy benzone that it has and ox octinoxate that it has. So we're gonna have to just be really vigilant about putting on the 50 constantly to make sure that we stay protected. We got this one that's 70 uh, plus um, SPF which is oxybenzone free and it's um, for face and it's oil free. So I'm gonna use that. We got some Sun Balm Coconut um, SPF 30 for our lips because <laughs> I'm not telling them tell, tell them, because tell them. you guys it's a disaster trust me it's a disaster when you don't wear sunscreen on your tell lips them, tell and them, you try to wear lip gloss tell them, tell them how you look like Angela, Angelina Jolie oh, don't listen to him you guys <laughs> and then I got this um, sun bum cool down which has jojoba oil and cocoa butter and aloe and it is um, antioxidant enriched with vitamin E so this one has a lot of good stuff in it, not a lot of nasty, like, um, you know, junk in it. So, yes, it became like a 20 minute affair in the sunscreen aisle, you guys. But I will kind of go over everything that we got once we get to, once I get back to the house and just kind of, you know, run it down for you guys. But also, if you have other recommendations for sunscreens that are safe for the reef, make sure you drop a comment down below. Okay, so we have all of our toiletries and travel essentials for um, our vacation. And $200 later, even though that wasn't all we got, I want to show you guys this really cool bag I got. Um, I was going to just take my, my Louis Neverfull, but then I thought about I wanted some... Um, something with compartments and storage things and all of that so I'll show you guys what it looks like I'm really excited about it it's super cute it's cold Go ahead, baby. I got it. thanks babe there's my bag guys it's super cute I'll show you the inside of it once I get to the house and um now we have okay guys so we went to Target, I got all my things, and I wanted to talk to you first about the bag. The bag I purchased, this little cute little um, travel bag, I'm just adjusting the strap. So you guys, look how cute this is. It's like a backpack. It has um, the like padded straps, which are super cute. I like the print because it's not like too much but just enough to give a little pizzazz it has um these gold zippers y'all know i'm crazy about rose gold and gold and pink and um yeah so the zippers it has a handle so you can kind of grab it like this or wear it you it has a zip on the side where you have pocket for storage probably put all my chargers and stuff in there my airpods travel buddies we're gonna have a meeting tonight our last weekly meeting to um get some last things planned so let me finish this really quick because we're gonna bump our meeting up so yes this nice little handle that it has with two straps i love the fact that these snaps on the side of the bag um gives you the ability to open it and get a little bit more extra space from there it has a zipper in the front and a pocket and it's a pretty big zipper you guys like it has a lot of um, storage space in there as well price point so the bag originally was $30 um, and I got it on sale for $20 on clearance I mean so girl loves a deal um okay for the inside 
look how spacious it is on like it's just a big bag overall i like it all right um it's got like one two major pockets on the inside and it's just like kind of like a wide um open storage area so while I, or since I've gone over what the bag looks like, I'm gonna just briefly talk about the items that we got from Target. So, cause I put them all in here so I didn't have to waste a bag and I could be um, eco-friendly. Okay, so I got some packs of Kleenex so I can have one in my bag and then one in my travel kit so that we have some Kleenexes as we travel. I got this little clear, um, Kind of like caddy set where you could store different things in the um bottles okay got some dramamine because i get motion sickness so easy i'm not necessarily worried about the flight because we're on a really large plane but um when we go jet skiing or on the boat and all that stuff when we're, while we're out there i just don't want to be sick so i got some dramamine we got some sunblock for our lips. Um, my husband has the funniest story about me when we went to the Dominican Republic and I was wearing lip gloss for the first like day. The sun was blazing. We were in the sun for at least like eight to 10 hour days. And yeah, y'all, I woke up and looked a hot ass mess. But anyway, we're not gonna let that happen again. My lips were fried. Um, so we got some Sunbum 30 SPF for our lips. I got an, another first aid kit because you know, a nurse always has to have some things just in case someone has any cuts or anything like that. And in my first aid kit, I also include uh, pain relief medications, my Dramamine, um, Benadryl in case anybody has reactions to anything. You know, just little things that I can take to um, be able to, you know, have minor little first aid things right at our fingertips. Um, I know a couple of times I've even bought like sutures and things just in case So, But anyway, not planning for any accidents, but that's that. We have some wet ones, tropical slash antibacterial wipes, cause you know the sister's gonna be wiping everything down. I wanted to get my Lysol y'all, but they did not have any um, Lysol. So I might, what I might do is in one of my little bottles, make me a disinfected spray, like an all natural one. And I have another spray bottle that I, cause my hand, spray hand sanitizer is almost out and I have some um, gel ones. So I might use the spray bottle to make like a my own lifestyle mixture, which um, I do sometimes. I'll make my own little all natural things. Okay, we got some shave cream. Shave cream. So this is the Eos or Eos. Um, hydrating shave cream. It's pomegranate raspberry. I like creamy based um, shave creams instead of the foamy ones. Um, so you can come in, it's fine. Ooh, that smells so good, you guys. Yes, that smells amazing. And it's so like smooth and moisturizing. Okay, win-win. So we got that. I got this Sport Face Oil Free Sunscreen um, by Neutrogena for my face. It does not have the oxybenzone. Um, it won't clog your pores. It says it's water resistant and it's 70 uh, plus. I normally use a daily moisturizer by Aveeno with, I think it's 30 SPF. Um, but I couldn't find a, shape cream on my nose. I couldn't find a, um, high enough SPF that didn't have all the junk in it. And guys, we're going to be swimming in coral, coral, literally when we walk out. So we are not going to be those people that contribute to the death of the coral. It's not going to happen. Um, sunscreen that says reef friendly. Okay. If you're going to be swimming in the oceans and around the coral, do not laugh at my nails, guys. They are like disgusting. I have to get them done, but I was saving my appointment so that they were fresh for my trip. Okay, so it smells pretty decent, you guys. Not too, too much, um, like most sunscreens, but you know, a lot of them have a lot of the chemicals which causes it to smell good, but um, this doesn't have all of that in it. 
smells really good. It's like a coconut um, kind of smell to it. But anyway, okay, love that. Let's lock this back up. And then we have the sun bum, so we can get 80 proof, or sorry, 70 proof. So we're gonna go between the both of these. And this one was pretty good as well. It had a lot of the, um, didn't have a lot of the junk in it, so. We'll probably do this one more so for the pool because I think it doesn't say reef friendly. Same thing guys, it's super lightweight. So I'm getting, what I'm getting is that most of the sunscreens that don't have the junk. Oh, I got two of these. Did I get two of these? I think I did. Um, we're gonna be swimming a lot. It's cooled down by sun bums. So this is for after the sun. It says it also preserves and extends your tan, but it's not any like tanning oils or anything um, in it. Yeah, I'm just waiting for them to let us know if it's gonna be now. Yes. Smells really good. It smells kind of like coconut and jojoba or jojoba, however you say that. Um, it smells really, really good. Um, and aloe, so it'll keep us feeling nice and moisturized because you know the sun and the ocean kind of dries you out. I didn't realize I bought two of these, did you? No, I didn't. Okay, so yeah, we have two of those and then we have the 70, so. We wanna also keep loading it up, so it's probably good that we did buy them. Yes, now is best. Thanks. Okay. All right, guys. Wrapping up. So I have this um, Argon Oil of Morocco Shampoo and Conditioner. I will be getting my hair braided right before we go, but I'm still going to be washing them just to get out all of the seawater and the um, chlorine from when we swim at the pool. So shampoo and conditioner is a must. Baby lotion, because I'm obsessed with baby lotion, is normally what I put on when I get out of the shower. The little girl smells good and like a baby <laughs> and then um i got this lavender chamomile eight hour moisturizing hand sanitizer by dove i love dove products um let's see oh y'all that smells good yes that's good okay I got some Dove um, Invisible Care deodorant. Dove deodorant is all I've ever worn since I can remember wearing deodorant. I've always worn Dove. Some flushable um, wipes for you know where, your bottom. Gotta keep it fresh. Let's see what else we got, y'all. I got some Advil to go into my little first aid kit. My hubby got some floss for us. Um, this is the Oral-B Glide Deep Clean Cleaning Floss. Please floss the all teeth, It's a must. It's a must. Some makeup removing cloths. I normally will use these before I wash my face if I have on a little bit of makeup. We normally, if you guys follow me, I normally um, utilize this other mouthwash and it's in one of my daily um, night and day routines. But we're just gonna take the Listerine just for the sake of because I didn't have like a good, ours is two separate containers. So I didn't have anything to mix it into. So that's that, another sanitizer. I got this, um, oh, Babe got some, some men body wash, whatever this is. And I got this coconut water and mimosa flower uh, body wash that I'm, I'm obsessed with. It smells so good. And I got these for now, my Aquaphor um, chapsticks, because I love Aquaphor. I typically will make my own chapstick um, with shea butter, coconut. Maybe I'll do a video and show y'all how I do that. And it smells so good, it tastes so good. I use like lemon, honey, shea butter, um, coconut oil. It's so good, it's so moisturizing to your lips, so great. I like this lip balm. All right, and that is all I have for my toiletries. Okay, so we just had our last little meeting before. Um, we do it typically every Thursday. Um, we've been doing it for the past like maybe month so that because if there were any changes or you know, for instance, our flight got um, <clears throat> moved and not this time, but our, at our meeting last week. So 
we regrouped to talk about, you know, what we would do to, um, you know, just work through that situation and things of that nature. So anyway, we just got some updates on um, just a couple of things. And the next time we meet, we will be leaving to go to the Maldives. So we are so excited about that. I essentially have everything that I need to um, squirt away for packing. If you know me, you know I'm a planner. I don't wait till the last minute for things. That gives me mad anxiety. <laughs> I like to have my, my ducks in a row. And next week before I get ready to go, I'm gonna be doing a lot of pampering and self-care to get, you know, this ready for the Maldives, y'all. So I am super excited. But yeah, if you guys have any other like travel tips or hacks, please, please, please make sure you drop them down below in the comments. I will link the um, in the description box some of the little things that we purchased, like the luggage, the camera um, cases, and the things, the battery packs, like the things that we spoke about, so that if you guys are interested in purchasing any of those, you have access to it. And that is all so please um don't forget to hit the thumbs up and like this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell for notifications for when i post future videos thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel again and until next